like this just brings it back down. That was the doorbell. No, I'm not gonna open the door because this is my recording. <laughs> Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, then welcome to my channel, which is all about educational beauty. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you a full face of high-end luxury makeup products. I'm gonna explain why I love them, show you my techniques, and then you can also see how it looks on my face. Now, before we head into this video, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. And you can catch me over on Instagram, where you can watch my stories for daily beauty news, or you can just get to see what I do when I'm not filming for YouTube. Now let's head straight into the video. So I have been really looking forward to doing this video because this is a collection of all of my favorite high-end luxury products that I genuinely feel are worth the spend. So we're gonna start off this full look that I'm gonna do with my lips. The reason being is because I like to prep them first. So I'm using my Dior Lip Maximizer. It's a hyaluronic kind of lip plumper. I use this all the time to prep my lips and this kind of like gets them just prepped and primed ready for later on. So this kind of like gets to work straight away. Anyone who I've recommended this product to has always said that they absolutely love it. You can feel a slight tingling, but it's nothing crazy, you know? So it's not gonna like make you feel like your lips are just gonna fall off. It comes in a few different colors. I have actually run out with my universal, like I think it's universal, the zero shade, which is basically no color. So I'm using the next one up, which is actually really nice anyway. It gives you more, it's like this kind of like really nice muted pink, but it's really transparent. Like you can't even see anything. So it, it's just a really nice shade. So this kind of like gets them hydrated, gets them prepped, plumps them up a little bit. And honestly, this doesn't go anywhere. It just stays put and gradually over time. I just, uh, before I do my lipstick, I just blot it a little bit so that the hydration stays there. That kind of tackiness stays on my lips so that it always feels like I've got something there because I don't like it to feel like it's fully dried out. And then, yeah, then I'm set for my lip products and it really kind of helps to prime my lips ready for whatever I'm gonna use on my lips. So moving on, let's move on to my primer. I'm really excited about this product. This is the new primer from hourglass it's the vanish airbrush primer this stuff is amazing so i'm gonna just like get a small amount just one pump is enough the reason why i love this is because it smooths the skin so it gets it ready for makeup application and you'll feel that when you put it on it leaves this kind of like velvety finish to your skin which feels amazing also it blurs the skin i don't know if you can kind of like see it over camera but it, it just gives this kind of blurring effect to your skin also what i love of it it also helps to kind of extend your makeup basically throughout the day so you know once you put it on it lasts a lot longer so it kind of like really grabs hold of your makeup and keeps it in place and keeps it looking fresh another thing i love about this primer is it's great for oily skin or combination skin and it basically helps to kind of keep that shine at bay so you will not see any shine come through for the rest of the day so if you are in the oily skin gang combination gang just go for it you're going to love this primer it's honestly really really good and it helps to kind of minimize the appearance of pores which is a big thing for me like i have a whole load of like enlarged pores here even some like acne scarring and right now from where I'm sitting to where the camera is, and that's exactly where the mirror is, just below the camera, I can't see them. Okay, we're gonna move on to my concealer. I'm gonna use the Vanish Concealer in Beach. I love this concealer. This is a very good concealer. I'm just gonna get my sponge and I'm gonna buff this in. So just basically kind of like applied a small amount on my eyelids. This is gonna help to give me a nice kind of like bright and even finish to my eyelids because you saw before it was like really dark and like patchy and red. Okay, I'm gonna set this now and the powder I'm gonna use is my Benai Banana Powder. And some of you might say this isn't high end. I think it is. I'm gonna get my powder puff. I'm just gonna apply, I put it in, into my hand. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of powder, press this in. It is a high end product because it's expensive. It is expensive. It's the Banana Luxury Powder. So I'm gonna just dust away this powder. 
There you go. My eyes are nice and even, bright eyelid color is no longer patchy red or dark. We're gonna do the entire base today and then do the rest of the face. Let's do something drastically different, guys. Let's do my full base and then we'll do everything else. And if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that usually I kind of start from the eyes and then I do my eye makeup and then carry on. To be honest, I don't always do that, actually. I do my whole base and then do my eye makeup and everything else when I know that I'm doing an eye look which isn't that heavy. So like as if I'm, if I'm using like loose pigments and things like that, then I will always do my eyes first and then do my base. But today we're doing something a little bit different. So we're gonna carry on with my base. So I'm gonna get my concealer and I'm just gonna apply a bit of concealer here. This color is really good for my skin tone. Okay, so I don't want to apply any more than that. So this is enough for me in terms of coverage and just kind of like highlighting those areas. Just sculpting my face a little. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush and I'm just going to buff this in. So I'm literally just going to press it, like press it into the skin. And then down here, I'm going to sweep this down because I want to keep the shape the same, keep that brightness in all these areas. I'm going to just flip the brush to really buff this area here. Okay, I'm gonna get my sponge and I'm gonna start buffing this concealer in here. Kind of trying to keep it in the same place. And you'll see why I love this concealer. This is probably the, this is not probably, this is my favorite high-end luxury concealer. It is such a good concealer. Like seriously, what just happened there? Where did that bag go? It is such a good concealer. And to be honest, this is actually less concealer than I would usually use from, Sh from Tarte Shape Tape. Like I haven't put on as much as I usually would do. And some of you have been watching my channel longer, you know that I probably just really kind of pile on the Tarte Shape Tape. Now I'm gonna finish sculpting the face and I'm gonna use my Tom Ford shade and illuminate in number two that's as in like intensity number two and i'm using that dark shade there at the bottom i don't really use that light shade so i think someone like someone who likes like a glossy finish to the skin or like that glass finish is gonna love that highlighter but i just use the dark shade okay so this is really easy to blend in so i'm just gonna like apply this in the areas that i feel i need it What I do really love about this product is it's so easy to blend in. It's not like a complicated product and plus you do get that kind of lighter shade as well that I feel like most people would love because you, you want that kind of nice cream highlight across the face. Okay, so let's start buffing that in. I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Complexion Brush again, a different one so that I can use it on the dark shade. And I'm just gonna buff this in. So I've applied it here to kind of like just warm up my perimeter of my face and also just kind of like just sculpt it there a bit. And here to just give me some cheekbones because I'm not gonna be powder sculpting after. I'm only gonna be applying just a bit of bronzer at the end if I feel I need it. And this here is just to kind of like define the cheek, uh, jawline, sorry. And I do it here because I like to just, just like focus on this center section here. This is a really easy product to blend in. I feel like you, it's just no fuss. I literally had to spend hardly any time on blending that. On to foundation. I'm gonna be using one of my favorites. I use this on my clients all the time. I absolutely love this foundation and I've been waiting to get my shade for so long, long and I've finally got it. So this is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and my shade is number eight. I honestly can't tell you how excited I am to use this because I used it once before as in a bottle and it was a shade too light for me but I absolutely loved the foundation. I know why everyone raves about this foundation now. It's just such a good foundation. This foundation is insane. Like I said, I use it on most of my clients. It gives you, it's just like a great flawless finish, easy to blend, not overly heavy, like a great shade range. It just looks really good on the skin. So I'm gonna start buffing this in with my 
beauty blender and I feel like it's buildable as well it's a foundation that you can wear without concealer if you want a really nice kind of like veil of color and you can also kind of build it up on top of concealer and even like keep building the foundation up if you want extra coverage and it still doesn't look heavy on your skin and that's why I love it like I used one pump there and I'll be honest I thought I was gonna have to use more and it's done the job it literally has worked all over my face and it doesn't look like it's packed on like it doesn't look close up it just doesn't look cakey and i love it okay so we're gonna move straight into setting this i'm gonna do my under eyes first let me just grab hold of anything that's kind of creasing on my under eye area and we're gonna go straight in with the powder which is the ben eye luxury powder i've got it on my laura messier powder puff here just gonna quickly set this under eye area before anything else and then just a few other areas okay i'm going to just dust off this powder on my under eye first and then let's just kind of dust it off everywhere else this is my hourglass miracle brush i love this brush this is the big side of the it's the veil brush love it i love this finish now on to the brows so a brow pencil that i've been loving for quite a while is the dual show kabuki brow brush thing it basically is a brush on one side which is so good it's so much better than like you know like the spoolie this one actually brushes them i mean it would work even better if you actually had a lot of hair there like me but on the other side you have the pencil which is kind of like slight angle so you can create the feather strokes with the point as well so i'm gonna go in and do that and my shade is brown so that's number three so i'm just gonna like start shading my brow and i feel like it's just a really easy pencil to use i always like using a color which is a little bit lighter than my actual natural actual natural hair because my hair is naturally black and I hate that so what I do is I go over with like a tint after which I'm going to show you which actually shades in my hair see you can use the other side of this pencil which creates that feather also I don't know about you guys but there are actually a lot of brands whether they are high-end or like luxury or like kind of high street when i say high street that isn't really the right word but you know how you get like the mid-level brands as well which are not necessarily drugstore but they're also not kind of luxury brand basically you can get brow pencils from any brand but i've seen them in luxury as well where they're kind of similar shape to this or just general brow pencils and it's like it looks great but then when you try and actually draw nothing comes off it's really weird like no color comes off i don't know if you've ever had that whereas with this pencil like like you just have to press a little bit the pigment is so it's e it's just easy okay so i'm using a bronzer now i'm using my tom ford bronzing powder in bronze age which is zero three i absolutely love this bronzer it's just one of those like really big bronzers it's like who doesn't love big bronzers the bigger the better so i'm gonna use my hourglass veil powder brush i'm using the smaller side and i'm just gonna apply this only a little bit i don't want a, an overly bronzed look but just kind of warm up the perimeter of my face a little bit into the hairline there now i'm also just going to grab that same bronzer and get my fenty 200 brush and just kind of like sculpt my nose with it a little bit now all i'm doing is using the tip creating a v there i'm going to go in a straight line on the side of the ridge of the nose now I'm using my Tom Ford Skin Illuminating Powder Duo in, this is Mood Light, really, really nice highlight look. I've used it so much, it's just like kind of worn down a bit. So I'm gonna get this, I'm using my uh, Zoeva 134 brush for this. I'm gonna use the, the warmer color there because that's a really nice color for my skin tone. I just kind of like go over to pick up the excess with my finger but it's a very fine highlight and i really love this i think it's probably one of the best highlighters i've used i don't use it all the time because it is expensive but i do love it okay i'm just gonna get the same highlight and this brush what is this brush this is a zoeva 230 brush just gonna go across the tip and then go over to get rid of the excess and then down the bridge of the nose there i have really 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 been looking forward to using these eyeshadows these are actually it's actually a cheek and eye 
color. So yeah, cheeks and eyes. This is from Giorgio Armani. It's the Neo Nude Melting Color Balm. Firstly, the colors are amazing. The colors I'm gonna use today are like terracotta colors. And I'm gonna do like a wash of color on the lid and it just melts into the skin, literally. And the great thing is you can use this on the cheeks as well. So I'm gonna see how this goes on the eyes and then pick which one I wanna use for my cheek color as well. So I'm gonna use 30 and I'm using, I'm actually using my eye, hour, eye glass, my hourglass number six brush, which is a really nice kind of like crease brush. And the great thing is there's no fallout. So I'm going to just apply this to, I'm going to apply this into my crease just a little bit. So I'm just going to like use the tip of the brush. I just love how easy it is. It's probably one of the easiest type of eyeshadows that I've used. Like the pigment is in is straight away. You get that pigment, no fallout. It just melts into the skin. The formula is amazing on this. So I would highly recommend this. Look, the color's already coming through. I love it. I'm gonna keep it pretty subtle. I don't want anything crazy. Do the same thing here. There. So we've got that really nice kind of burnt orange color in the crease and we haven't gone all the way in and we haven't gone all the way out. We've just kept it kind of like on the center. Now I'm gonna get that same color. I'm basically gonna just apply it just at the end, but kind of like sweep it up here now, like there. Just from the end of the lash line and then going up into the temple. Not too much though, like I just want it to be like a wash of color and it's really easy to do that with this eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the same thing here. Now I'm using the color 22 and I'm using my Zoeva 230 brush. This is like a pencil brush. This is like a darker color. And I'm just gonna apply this even closer to my lash line here. So I just want a little bit of depth. All I'm doing is going like really close to my lash line. Don't worry if it's a little bit messy for you because it's such an easy product to blend. Now I'm gonna go in with my other hourglass brush. There's nothing on here. Just gonna blend that out. And we're gonna do the same here. Going with the other brush, just make sure there's nothing on it. And I'm just kind of like fusing all of it together. It's just kind of like a nice wash of color. Now I'm gonna go with this brown just under my lower lashes, just to add some depth. Really roughly, you don't have to be, and this is another reason, like I said, why I love these eyeshadows. It's, it makes blending really easy. Now I'm gonna get my 231 brush from Zoeva and I'm gonna go into the color 45 and this is a bit more of a brighter orange and I'm gonna go into the lower lashes. So we've got that dark shade there and this brighter color is just gonna give it more of a kind of summery feel but then you've still got that depth there. Lastly, I'm gonna apply this right here. Just like give it, give it that kind of like nice brightness right on the inner corner, but I'm taking it into, can you see I'm taking it into the lid? And then a little bit here. Like when you're using bright colors, you don't have to like put it all over the lid. You, you can be a bit more adventurous. So you can see that brightness is really kind of popping on the inner corner there. And finishing off with one of my favorite mascaras, the Hourglass Unlocked Mascara. This mascara is insane. Like it's such a nice mascara. And when you wash it off, firstly it, it doesn't, flake, it doesn't smudge, it stays put all day. And then when you actually do wash your face or take it off, it just like, it's like rubber. It just glides off of your lashes. And we're not wearing any false lashes today. So I want, this look is like great if you don't want to wear lashes. Equally, you could put a pair of lashes on and it will completely just elevate the look. Okay, so as you can see, when I first applied that dual lip maximizer, it was really glossy. Now it's kind of like toned down. It's got like a nice tacky finish left to, lip, left to the lip, which means that it's hydrated and it doesn't feel overly dry. So I can go over with my lipstick now. So I'm using my lip liner and what I'm gonna do is just feather it in because I don't want a really strong lip line with this whole look. What I usually do is shape my top and bottom here and then feather in on the rest. Cause I like to make this a little bit above my lip line and this one a little bit below my lip line so that it just kind of gives me a bigger pout. Okay, I started feathering in. You can see I started from my real lip line and then I was just very lightly feathering in up until that point there where I'd already kind of like drawn in that top part. So you can see it's a little bit defined there, but it's not overly defined. 
Okay, so this lip color is really nice and I feel like it's gonna go with this whole look. I absolutely love the packaging of this. Like, I feel like this is worth the money. Like, well, all of this I feel like is worth the money. This color is, I never know because it's like on, it's like kind of engraved on. It's number 30 and it's a really nice kind of deep terracotta color. Look, look at the lid. So this goes like that. It goes in, look how pretty that lid is. It's like all sparkly and you can get different kind of like diamante colors. This is Guerlain and you can also get like material, like you can get like tweed and there's just all sorts of designs. There's so much that you can get from this, like as in different designs. Now, if you pull it out, hold on, let me just make sure I got it right. When you pull it out, look, it's a mirror. That's a mirror, that's so cute. I think that's really good anyway. Like, yeah, I, I really like it. So what I'm gonna do is very lightly, kind of like apply this, just like dab it. And this is a really comfortable lipstick. I'm just gonna get the lip brush on the back of my lip pencil. I want like a, a kind of matte stain on my lip. I don't want it to look like, an, like I've got loads of lipstick on. Now, I think I'm gonna apply a little bit of the uh, eyeshadow, well, the blush, the cheeks and eyeshadow uh, Neo Nude. And I'm gonna use the shade 30. So I'm gonna use my Kevin O'Quire Neo powder brush. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this to this brush. I want to apply this just kind of like up here. I only want a small amount. I don't actually want a lot. I'm gonna finish this off by using the Hourglass Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I don't really use it as a setting spray. I just like how it gives you soft focus effects, like it's called, like it kind of like blurs the skin a little bit and I feel like it just hydrates my skin. So I'm not selling this to you as a setting spray at all. I just use it because I like how it gives that kind of like nice sheen on my face and it doesn't, it just keeps it looking fresh. It almost like, I guess the reason I use this is I feel like when I've done a a full face of makeup, especially something like this, it kind of, you know when you first apply your makeup, everything looks really fresh. Like I feel like this just brings it back down. That was the doorbell. No, I'm not gonna open the door because this is more important. So I'm gonna just spray this on. So yeah, I just feel like it just brings everything back down and like settles everything down so it doesn't look so fresh. That's the reason I use this. And I think it's a really good spray. And I do love the fact that Hourglass products are also clean products. So yeah, that's another big reason. So this is the look that I've created and I do hope that you like it and basically using all of the products that are luxury high-end brands and products that I feel are well worth the spend. I feel like these products in general, it doesn't mean that you have to go for the same color. Like for example, the colors that I've used in the Giorgio Armani Neo Nudes, I'm not saying that these are the colors that you need to go out and buy. I've just picked the colors out that I feel that I wanted to create a look with those shades. There are other shades that you could go for. I just think that every single product I've used is well worth the money because it genuinely is good quality and I feel like every product kind of like ticks every box for me in what, what it's supposed to do. Every product that I've used, I've explained to you in detail why I love it and what's so good about it. And these are all products that I personally recommend and I really do hope that you like the look that I've created with it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and love those products and the finished look as much as I do. Now, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments box below. Now, as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so that you never miss any of my future videos. Until the next video, take care and I'll see you soon.